Now that we've changed the bulbs in the instrument panel to LEDs, we're going to look at the bulbs in the switches. Because although they light up, they're very dull. So those switches there, we're going to take them off and see what we can do with them. Now that we've taken the switches out, let's pop them apart and have a look at them. Now there's the bulbs that are in there at the moment. There's the switch. And inside is a hollow. One does the top light and the other one does the bottom light. Now I'm not concerned about the bottom lights, they work because they've never been used much over the years. Whereas this one, because they're on whenever your headlights are on, they've been used a lot so the bulbs are not much use. So that relates to the bulb on the right hand side. So if we can now, we're going to replace that bulb there with a diode. Now normally I would use a 3mm diode and a resistor if necessary. But as the packet of diodes we bought for the instrument dash was a pack of 5 and we only used 3, what I will do instead is I will pop the, one of these open and I will try to use and that one's fitted with a resistor as we can see so what I will do is try and get that into the space of that right hand side one at this point I should also say that's the positive side for the when the lights come on so when you connect a diode up you must have the positive side connected to this post here let's just have a look inside the other switch although I think that will be the same pull the back off Yes, two walls again in there. Take the switch gear out. Slightly different in there, but again, that space there for lighting up the top section, and the other space for lighting up the bottom bottom section. So again, we'll be looking at changing the right hand bulb for an LED, and again, the right hand side is the positive. We may have to cut away some of this section to fit it in because we need it to close again afterwards and with the gear inside as well, the switch gear. Let's see how we get on with that. I've now taken the LED apart and that clearly shows positive and negative sides on it and I've cut the bulb, the right hand bulb, off the switch circuit so now I'll have to solder this into place with the positive going to this right hand side that was a bit tricky to solder but I managed it A tiny bit of grease on the contacts as well for the switch. Now let's just see if it goes up back together. Click, hold on. Right, try that one. Just giving it a quick test on the car battery. That looks brilliant. That's the next one done. This time the resistor was on the positive side of the diode. That's why we've soldered the resistor to this post here, being the positive post.
We'll put a bit of grease on the for the switches again. Now let's just pop that back together. Hopefully when we test it it should light up okay. Any problems with it lighting up funny or if this one bottom one comes on as well then just take it apart and pull the diode up a tiny bit. Although if you switch it on and this lights up and some comes through here that doesn't matter because the that will be lit up anyway. But when it's in that position you just want the light coming through the top one and not the bottom one. So I'll go and test that one now. That one tests okay. We've got the top light lit up, that's what we're after. And in the darkness, very nice. All we've got to do now is fit it back into the car and try them there. Back in the car at night, we can now see those switches light up. So now those are done, and we've done the dashboard, we might just have to do the light switch on this side. But we'll leave that for another time. Bye.